Set is an abstract data type that stores unique items in the order of insertion or no particular order at all in some languages. The set data structure works different than other list types like array, stack, and queues. Rather than retrieving an element from a set, you can only check if a given element is in the set, although you can delete as well as iterate them. Sets can be static or dynamic, where static sets do not change after they are constructed. Not even deletion or new elements can be inserted. An empty set is known as the null set, and sets are a great way to avoid duplications in a list and perform list-level operations like union, intersection, difference, etc. Since they don't allow access for a particular element directly, they are not meant for processes that require constant read and write of items. You can use arrays for those, but they have add, delete, has, and clear methods as well as the size property. Because they are meant to check elements existing in comparisons, set operations are union that given multiple sets will return a new set containing items from both sets, difference will return items that exist in one set and not the other, intersection will return only common items between sets, difference of intersection will return only items that are not common between two sets, Subset confirms if a given set is contained by another set, and the opposite is achieved with is superset. JavaScript has a set object, but it does not come with special operations and you must create them. But let's explore the JavaScript set object first. You instantiate it with a new keyword and you don't need to pass anything, but you could pass an array of items to start. So let me show you how special this is and initialize it with a couple nulls, nan, undefined, numbers, and string. Notice that nothing repeats, but if I create an object inside, I can repeat it because these are different instances. To prove that, I can call the has method and pass the object again and it will return false, obviously. So to solve this, I must store it in a variable and add it. I can also add items with the add method, remove with the delete method. It comes with a for each so I can iterate them as well. I can also use the for off and its keys, values and entries iterators to iterate through them as well. An important note is that sets, keys and values are the same and that's why you can pass a value to check it. So these iterators will return the same thing and entries will return a tuple with two same items. Pretty weird if you ask me. You must use the item itself to delete it from the set or check if it's in the set. I can also check how big the set is with the size property and in the end I can always call clear to obtain a null set. You can use the set to remove duplicates from arrays by converting back and forth. But the best things you can do with set is not even possible with the raw JavaScript setup object. For the next video I will implement set operations and I can teach you how you can extend JavaScript set to something more powerful and even solve a couple of things together. So you can really understand the usage of set. Once again, thanks for watching. See you there. Bye-bye.